Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with the second part from Magnets, Grade 8 Science. This is the Unit 6. Our first subtopic is Geomagnetism. You know that north-south direction of the Earth can be identified using a compass. When a compass is kept horizontal near to the surface of the Earth, its needle turns along the north-south direction. Let's find the direction of the magnetic field of the Earth. You can do this simple activity using two compasses, a bar magnet, a piece of thread and a stand. What you have to do, hang the one bar magnet horizontally on the stand using a piece of thread. Keep the bar magnet hang on the stand and two compasses about 2 meters apart from each other. Take another bar magnet and bring it of its pole closer to each compass and to the magnet hang on the stand. Take away the bar magnet and observe the direction of the poles of compass needles and the bar magnet which is hang. Repeat the activity change in the location of compasses. Discuss the reasons. The compass and magnet which is hang turn when another magnet is brought closer to them. Thus it, it is clear magnets and compasses turn when they are under influence of magnetic field. When the bar magnets and compasses are free from influence of other magnets, their north poles always turn one direction and south poles the opposite direction. Through the opposition of bar magnets and compasses are changed, their poles turn the same directions. The reason for this existence of large magnetic field around the earth through the north and south poles. This magnetic field existing near to the earth is known as mag geomagnetism. Liquefied metal current, current circulates around the axis of the earth because of the high temperature at the core of the earth. The magnetic field of earth is the result of the electric current thus generated. This is how the earth magnetic field is located. When a compass or a magnet is kept freely Linear to the Earth, its north-south poles are directed along the magnetic field of the Earth. The direction of the north pole of the magnetic or compass kept in that manner is known as magnetic north of the Earth. There is a little difference between the real north and magnetic north of the Earth. The magnetic north lies few degrees northwest from the real north. This is how the magnetic north and real north are denoted in a map. Let's discuss about the temporary magnets and permanent magnets. Two types of magnets can be identified when the considering uses of magnets, permanent magnets and temporary magnets. Let's understand more about permanent magnets and temporary magnets. You can do this simple activity using these things. What do you have to do? Wind insulated copper wire around the iron nail or iron rod to make a coil. Scrape both ends of the coil and connect it the, to the risers. Bring the coil close to the file clips while supplying electricity and see what happens. Disconnect the electricity supply and bring the coil close to the clips again. Bring the bar magnet close to the clips and see what happens. Discuss your observation. In the first picture, you can see file clips are attracted when the electricity is supplied. Second one, file clips fall off, do not attract when electricity supply is disconnected. Last picture, file clips are attracted to the permanent magnet. A setup that becomes a magnet only when the electricity is supplied is known as electromagnet. In an electromagnet, electromagnetic Magnetic power remains only when electricity is supplied. Therefore, they are called temporary magnets. Magnetic power remains of long time in bar magnets. Therefore, they are called permanent magnets. Let's make a permanent magnet. Magnets of various shapes and sizes are used for various purposes. Let us consider how these magnets are constructed. 
Materials that show magnetic properties are used to make magnets. Steel, ferrite and soft iron are some magnetic materials which are used to make magnets. Various materials are used to produce various types of magnets. Magnetic power is not retained in soft iron for long time. Therefore, soft iron is used to make magnets and other temporary magnets. Magnets in which magnetic power retained for long time are they known as permanent magnets. Steel or ferrite is used to make magnet permanent magnets. Ferrite is used to make more powerful permanent magnets. You can see an electromagnet, permanent magnet made of steel, permanent magnets made of ferrite. Construction of permanent magnets using magnetic materials can be done two ways. First one, electrical method and contact method. Let's make magnets using electrical method and contact method. You have to do two activities. First activity to make an electrical mag method by using these things. What you have to do? Make a 5 cm long tube using piece of cardboard. Wind the copper wire around that tube. Make a coil. Bring the iron nail close to the clip. File clip and check whether it is has a magnetic power. Then insert the iron nail into the car cardboard tube. Scrap both ends of the coil and connect it to the drive cell and supply the current several times of the circuit. Take the iron nail or iron hacksaw blade away from the observer while bringing it close to the fire clips. Discuss your observation. The electric current should be supplied several times to the circuit for a long time until permanent magnetism is observed. Second one to observe contact method. Using this thing you can do this activity. What you have to do? Bring the needle blade close to the file clips to check whether it has a magnetic power. Now place the needle horizontally on the table. Place one of the bar magnet on the needle. Drag it along the same direction. Repeat the process several times. Now bring the needle blade close to the file clips and see what happens. Discuss your observation. It is clear to you that permanent magnet can be using can be made using electrical method and contact method according these activities. Does the magnetic perm magnetic permanent magnet retain forever? Answer is no. The magnetic power of permanent magnets are lost due to various reasons. Let's see some examples. Aging, being subjected to high temperatures, being subjected to strong magnetic field, being subject to vibrations. Let's do to test how magnetic power is lost. You can do that activity using this thing. Rubbing should be continued for the long time until permanent magnetism is observed. What do you have to do? Bring the pring pings close to the each magnetized iron nail separately and note down the maximum number of pins attracted to the each nail. Subject each nail to each of following treatments. Vibration of Hammering, heat of high temperature, move to and from close to the strong magnet. Then bring the pins close to the each nail again and count the number of pins attracted to the each nail. Like given fig figure, heating strongly, subject to the vibration, subject to the strong magnetic field. After that you can complete this table. It may clear to you that magnetic power fades off because of vibration, temperature and being subject to the strong magnetic field. Magnetic power also fades due to the aging. Magnets should be stored in an orderly manner without being subjected to the vibration, temperature and strong 
magnetic field to maintain magnetic power for long period of time. Storage of permanent magnets. Magnetic power of permanent magnet can be protected for a long time if it is stored in such a way that its magnetic field does not scatter. You can see how magnets are stored using soft iron plates, strap of wood, then both bar magnets and uh, shoe, shoe, uh, horseshoe magnets are same. Let's see use of permanent magnet. There are various equipment found in day-to-day -day life where the permanent magnets are used. In loudspeakers and speakers, in small electrical motors, in some door locks, bags, in some toys, in compasses, in pencil boxes, stickers on refrigerators, then phone covers. This is what we have to learn through this magnets lesson. Our next video is from grade 8 science, measurement associated with electricity. Thank you.